Hey guys, here's your July 26th video. Uh, today, we're going to tell a little story. So we're going to start with... These are really hard. But we're going to start with is a story about a power plant in Monticello. And that power plant had a tiny little gap. About yay big. Tiny little gap in the edge. And a tiny little jumpy spider. You'll see little black jumpy spiders in our house. One of them jumped in that tiny little crack and became radioactive and grew to the size of the Metrodome, which is, you know, like 30 times bigger than our house. He was huge. And when he jumped, he could jump like miles. Like he went from Monticello to Otsego to Rogers, back to Elk River to get some pizza, then he went to Rogers again, then to Maple Grove, and he started heading towards a lake, towards Fish Lake. This is a story of the terrifying spider in Fish Lake. So, two people, two uh, sort of middle-ish aged people, they were young for their neighborhood. Uh, we'll call them Mr. and Mrs. Um, Steinkopf, or something. Um, we're sitting on the deck, and Mr. Steinkopf saw this ginormous spider coming over the edge of the mountain, or over the trees. I guess not a mountain, we don't have any mountains, but over the tree line. And he goes, <gasps> spider, spider, and he screamed like the little girl, ah! or something like that. And, and Mrs. Steinkopf, being the brave one, said, we have spiders all the time, Mr. Steinkopf. We'll be fine. And so I ran inside, shrieking like a little girl, ah! And Beth then heard the ground shake. She heard it, and she felt it. And she saw the giant spider. And everybody else was terrified. The spider was like smashing cars, chomping on boats, arg, 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 doing all kinds of mean spidery things, making a web all over everything so nobody could get through. And people were terrified, running into their houses. And the only people who were brave enough to go out there were... That's right, Ruby and Claire. And then after them came Josh and Tyler. And they had a plan. Tyler came out running because he was getting ready for bed. He was in his underwear, and Tyler was just ready to go. He was just ready to just take on this spider. He grabbed some rope. He had a plan. Josh took a little longer to get out because he, of course, went in and put on his lacrosse gear because he saw the size of the spider. He put on his lacrosse gear and his football pads on top of it. He came out, and you couldn't hear him because he had two helmets on. One of them was backwards, and so nobody could hear anything at all from him. So he finally went and took one of the helmets off. He realized two helmets, a little bit of overkill, also squished his head, and, uh, you know, it wasn't a good thing. So he came out, he had all his lacrosse gear. They had a plan. So Tyler had the ropes, and Josh went and jumped in the boat. Now, in this story, you get to drive the boat. You don't get to really drive the boat in real life, so you have to wait a while. But this is a great story. You get to drive the boat. So Josh grabbed one of the ropes, and Tyler grabbed the other end of the rope. And uh, they did just like they do in Star Wars, where they go around and around, around and around, around and around the spider. And the spider was laughing at him. Ha, 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 what are you doing, flossing my teeth? You should floss my teeth. I was born in the dark. I'm a super spider who you cannot defeat. You will lose, little men. And Josh was on the boat, driving super fast, but laughing super hard, because Tyler, as he was running around, the legs was doing his little underwear dance thing that he does, and Josh was starting to laugh, and then the, the, the spider noticed, and the spider started to laugh, and he was laughing so hard, he didn't even notice all these ropes going around and around his legs, getting tied to things like other boats, like Rich's boat. Tyler jumped in Rich's boat, and Josh and Tyler went in opposite directions with the strings, and you can imagine what the spider's legs did. They went, thump, and so then the spider went, thump, and he got his beak, beak with pincers, whatever those things are, his teeth, stuck in the muck of the lake. And that was kind of it for the spider. So they had to eventually remove the spider, which took, like, helicopters and chainsaws, a lot of work. But the two young men, Josh and Tyler, and their helpers, Ruby and Claire, I don't know exactly what they did in the story. That wasn't really all that well planned out. But... They did a great job. They were heroes. They were celebrated at Maple Grove Days, and they had fireworks and hot dogs and cheese curds and celery in their honor. Nice job, guys. I love you much, and I can't wait to see you soon.